super excited that this event happened. It was just a month ago that I met this incredible family who inspired me with the mission they had, the journey they've taken to get to this moment. That has been an incredible adventure of not just saving elephants, but showing the world another path of making a difference. I really fell in love with them, not just because of what they've been doing, but because of the struggles that they've gone through in order to get to this position. And this event today was a true experiment. We didn't have all the answers, we didn't know what we were doing, but we knew that there was something more that we could do. Bringing incredible people together, coming up with ideas over a beautiful dinner last night, having an incredible lunch with people, discussing, opening their hearts up to what could be done here to make a difference in an elephant's life. And the ideas that really flourished over the last couple of weeks that really came into reality today was to see how we could use modern technology, to see how we could use blockchain, to see how we can NFT an elephant itself. As you can see, I still have a little bit of paint on me and all this excitement and adrenaline that really got me to a position where I'm like, yes, I believe in it. It wasn't just an idea. It wasn't just a dream. It is now a reality taking an elephant and supporting them to make a difference in the world by allowing us to paint them as gently as possible with non-toxic organic planes, being a part of showing them that they're having fun, being a part of this movement has allowed us to create not just beautiful painted elephants, allowing the elephants to paint us, allowing some of the kids and adults to actually paint beautiful pictures of the elephant. This will allow us now to NFT these opportunities as series, as collectibles, that people around the world can make a difference. Every collectible will have different bonuses, every NFT will have an opportunity for it to go up, and every single time an NFT will get traded, an elephant here will eat for another day, another week, or potentially a whole other year. Hi everybody, so my name is, uh, is Robert Ian Bonnick, and it's been an amazing day here at Mason Safari and Elephant Park, and look, I feel a little bit responsible because um, what happened about was well, some months ago I had the opportunity to interview the, the Masons, the whole family together and what I, what I saw was an incredible example of how family sticks together through tough times. And, uh, at the park. As you can see by looking at the elephants, they are very happy, they're all fat and well fed, they're well looked after. We haven't changed anything in the last two years uh, as we've just slowly depleted our funds making sure that the elephants are the number one priority. I wish after today that everyone can go home and think about animals in general, you know, like how are we looking after them, how we can move forward together with them and not just lump all elephant places into the same basket. I hope that we've shown everyone here today that it's not just, you know, exploiting creatures like this, it's about progressing forward as a society with animals, especially the wonderful Sumatran elephant. Thank you so much.